Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to another Juice TV virtual visit. Hello, everyone. My name is Pri. Welcome to the chat today. So excited to have you guys here. Hello to everyone watching on the Patient Entertainment System. We hope you guys have a really lovely morning watching along. And to everyone on Facebook, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope that you guys can join the conversation, write a comment, leave a little shout out and join in the fun. Today, we are so excited to bring you a special guest. And as you can see, I'm rocking a little bit of the merch. So I'm sure you obviously know who it is, but to be actually hosting this whole interview is actually our superstar patient. And I think we should bring him up. Let's welcome Angus. Good morning, Angus. Hi. Good morning. How are you going today? I'm doing good. Good, yeah. good. Now, Angus, this was actually your special request to chat to yes. our special guest this morning. So tell yes. me, why did you sort of want to interview him today? Well, I guess he's one of my favorite players and well, I've supported the Lions my whole life. And it's yeah. like, it's going to be pretty cool. It is going to be pretty cool. We've got our merch on, we're ready. Now, yeah. Angus, tell me a little bit about yourself. How old are you? Uh, I'm 13. Lovely. And do you play AFL or any sports yourself? Uh, I play myself. I play AFL, cricket and soccer. Wow, all rounder. And do you have a team club that you play for? Uh, I play at Cooperu. Cooperu. Did you want to give Cooperu a little yeah. shout out? Yeah, uh, go Cooperu. Go Cooperu. Very good, very good. Now, Angus, you are in the hospital. You're in the book bunker right now. Yes. Yep. And mm -hmm. we're obviously yes. live streaming all across the hospital. So it's for everyone to enjoy and share in this special mm -hmm. moment. But, yeah. I mean, enough about us. Are you ready to meet the man himself? Yeah. Alrighty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Brisbane Lions All Star and most recent winner of the Brownlow Medal. Give it up for the great Chucky Neal. I mean, Lucky Neal. <laughs> Hello, Lucky. How are you going? <laughs> We're good. Lucky, meet Angus. Angus, meet Lucky. Hi. Hi. Hey, Angus. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm going well, thank you. I'm uh, I'm looking a bit scruffy this morning. I've just um, done yeah. 40 minutes walking up and down stairs. Uh, I just got home about 20 minutes ago from that, so apologies about <laughs> my scruffy. I, uh, I thought I'd better get organized and get myself ready and um, didn't have time for a shower. So I'm not looking my best, uh, <laughs> unlike you, Angus, but um, bear with me. <laughs> That's all right. No. That is a solid effort. Thank you so much for joining us, Lockie. <laughs> Angus is obviously a massive super fan and he's got some questions for you today. So I'm just going to pass it over to Angus. Go for it. All right. So I've got a couple questions for you. So what club did you play for as a kid? Yeah, I played for the Kybe Tigers as a kid, which is a really small footy club in the southeast of South Australia. So I grew up there until I was about 14 and then moved to Adelaide and, and played for another Tigers team, which was Glenelg. And then I was lucky enough to get drafted over to Fremantle, but it all started in Kybe and, and they were the Tigers. So I played for the Kybe yeah. Tigers, Glenelg Tigers, and then over um, into Perth and then at the Lions now and, and loving it. So Kybe Tigers was my first junior club. What about you? Have you got a junior club? Oh uh, yeah, I play for Cooper. Cooperu, that's just down the road yeah. from me. I live in Cooperu, so it's not too far away. I've, yeah. uh, I'm not sure if you've but a lot of the boys have been doing their off-season running and stuff there at the moment, so they're enjoying it. Cool. It's a pretty good oval there. Yeah, it is. What position do you play? Uh, well, this year I played a bit of defence, but yep. usually I play forward. You like kicking goals? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, as well, uh, who was who's your favourite teammate at the Lions? Oh, that's a tough question. Uh, my favourite teammate. I love them all. 
Um, I've known Lincoln McCarthy for a long time. He grew up in the same area as me in the southeast, in South Australia. So if I don't say Link, he'll probably drive down over Christmas and <laughs> give me a talk. So I'll go with Link, but I have so many favourites there. I, I love playing with Charlie Cameron. Um, he's awesome to play with on the field. He's always up and about and exciting, and he's obviously got his motorbike celebration. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you've seen that. Uh, Charlie. Who else playing with? Um, I love playing with Harris Andrews because he always stops the goals. He doesn't let many through. So if we if we no, don't do it... too well, field, he, he stops the goals for us. Yeah, he's a good defender. Can you give me a Charlie celebration? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Beautiful. That's very well done. You'll fit right in our forward line, I reckon. <laughs> um, if you weren't an AFL footballer, what would you be? It's a very good question. I've always loved football and, and sport in general and I just heard you saying that you play a few other sports. So when I was younger, I was the same. I played cricket, soccer, I tried tennis, um, athletic, um, basketball. I love playing basketball. But yeah, I've always loved sports. So I feel like I'd be involved in, in sport in some way, whether that's coaching um, or recruiting or something like that. So um, I've done a couple of coaching courses since joining the AFL and I'm actually qualified now, if my career was to end tomorrow, um, I'd, I'd be able to um, be an assistant coach in the AFL. So um, that's something that I'll look to move into post footy. But I've always loved sport. Um, can't really imagine myself doing anything else. So I'd probably be doing something in sport still. All right. Um, obviously, congratulations on winning the Brownlow medal this year. How does it feel? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a pretty crazy few weeks. It was really busy after the Brownlow, but I feel very humbled and uh, extremely, um, yeah, I suppose overwhelmed at the time that I won that award. I've always looked up to guys that have won the Brownlow and never thought in my wildest dreams that I'd join them, but I am now and it's been a crazy ride, but hopefully I'm not done yet. Um, I actually have it here with me if you want to have a look as well. I'll get it out and you can, I'll just put it here in case you wanted to have a look. <laughs> right then. There so it is. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Hopefully today I'll get to meet you in person and, and you can try it on. It might fit you better than what it fits me. You might look good <laughs> in it. Yeah. What do you think of that offer, Angus? That's pretty cool. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just wanted to jump in for two seconds. Hey, Lockie, um, we also had another patient. Her name is Jasmine. She really wanted to chat with you this morning as well. Unfortunately, she couldn't join us. However, she did have a couple of questions. So I just wanted to ask them on her behalf, if you're okay with that. So no. she wanted to know, you play for number nine or you play with the shirt number nine. Does that have a special meaning to you at all? That's yeah, a good question. I wore it. Um, in my draft year at Glenelg, which is the club I spoke about before, I got drafted from there. And in my draft year, so the year before I played AFL, I was wearing number nine. Um, and when I got to Fremantle, that number wasn't available. So I was 27 there. And then when I came to Brisbane, number nine was available. So that's been my favorite number for a long time. And yeah, I was so excited that it was available at Brizzy and, and got to wear it again. It was a a special number for me because I wore it when I got drafted. Um, so yeah, it's always had a significant meaning for me and um, I'm really proud to be back in the number nine. Yeah, very good. What about you, Angus? Do you have a number in your jersey? Uh, I like the number seven. Yeah? Seven. What does Arabic? seven mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I kind of like it because it's Dane Zorko's number and Oh, I've worn it a lot. Yeah, nice. Seven's the number, your special number. <laughs> good number. Very good. Yeah. Hey, Jasmine also wanted to know, um, have you had any injuries and did you spend some time in hospital when you were younger through those injuries or just for any other reason? Yeah, I've had plenty of injuries and I've spent 
probably too much time in in surgery rooms um, for my injuries. So I've had about eight surgeries, I think, all up. Um, three on my knees, um, shoulder, wrist, a um, couple of fingers as well. So yeah, I've had a lot of operations, um, spent a few nights in hospital just with, with them. Um, so yeah, I have had a lot of injuries. I've hurt my ankle when I first got um, drafted as well. So I hurt both of my ankles and spent about 10 weeks all up um, missing football um, with them, but I didn't require surgery for them. But um, all the other stuff I've had surgery and yeah, it's not too much fun, but that's a part of it. <laughs> And, no. Um, sort of get on with it, but yeah, <laughs> that's probably solid that's effort. Or I suppose is is the injuries, but everyone goes through a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Angus? Have you had any playing AFL? Ah, uh, well, I recently got a stress fracture in my leg, so I had to miss out on the end of the season. Oh no, that's no good. Is it better now? Oh, uh, well, I've still, I've got a moon boot on now, but, uh, uh, well, the lucky thing was our team made it to the AF, our grand final this year, but we lost, and uh, we got a message from Harris Andrews, wish us good luck. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. He's a good guy, Harris. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Did you lose? Uh, I think it was like. 20 points. Oh, so not too much. You were pretty close. Hopefully no. next year. <laughs> yeah, we made... Our, my team won it last year, though. So that was pretty cool. Oh, you're always up there then. <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we need to get some tips from you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Well, shout out to Jasmine. Hopefully you're watching along and hopefully you're doing well. But back to you, Angus, for a couple more questions for Lucky. Yeah, so uh, there's 2020 has been quite a a strange year, you could say. Um, are there any learning things or takeaways that you've come back from this year? Yeah, it has been such a different year. Um, I think one for me was it was really hard to see our families and and our close friends. Um, especially a lot of our guys are from interstate. So a lot of the boys are from Melbourne. A couple of us are from South Australia. Um, there's guys that are from Perth, um, all over the country. So it was really hard for a lot of us to, to see our families and whatnot. So we had to keep in touch um, in different ways through Zoom and, and calling and FaceTime and whatnot. And I've got a little um, brother and a, and a few sisters as well so I didn't get to see much of them this year but um, one thing I learned was to be able to I had to keep in contact with them somehow so um, just checking in with them and making sure they were going okay um, my twin brother and sister are in year 11 at school in Adelaide um, and they were doing a bit of homeschool and, and stuff like that so it was all different for them and I just found that it was important to keep in touch with everyone and make sure that they were going okay and that's something that I'll take into the future as well not only for this year but checking in on all my friends and, and my family and making sure that they're coping okay with the things that they're going through and I think it's something that I learned this year to make sure that I continue to do that not just through 2020 so that's something that I definitely learned um, and as well probably our relationships at the footy club grew even stronger it was a different and difficult time for a lot of guys. Um, so keep, keeping in touch with them, in on them, um, same sort of thing, but um, it certainly strengthened us as a group. Have you yeah. learnt much this um, year? Well, yeah, I, it's kind of like you have to, you have to kind of adapt to the situation you're in. Because if you want to play footy, you have to, you have to find a way to play it. If even through the circumstances that you're in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We had to do that as well, like with no crowds and um, yeah. training in group eight instead of we're used to training with 40, 45 players and we had to do groups of eight for most of the year. So that was different and we had to adapt to that. So yeah, there was a lot of mm. things that you probably never thought you'd do that you have to adapt to. So that's a very good point. Yeah. Uh, what did you? How do you think the trade period will uh, 
interact with Brisbane's lineup. Yeah, I think it's been a good trade period for us. We brought in Joe Danaher, who's a superstar when he's up and going. So hopefully his body holds up for us and, and he plays a lot of footy. He's a gun. I think he was all Australian in 2017 or something. And then he's missed a lot of footy over the last few years. But he's up and running and stuff at the moment and his body's holding up well. So he'll kick a lot of goals for us as long as he stays healthy. And then um, same with Nakaya Cockatoo. Um, he's a explosive player who probably play all sorts of different positions for us. So he'll play on a wing, half back, maybe through the midfield and up forward. So he's a real versatile player and um, he's, he's got some special tricks. So hopefully same thing again. He's had a couple of injury problems over the last few years, but um, he's a really talented player and I think he'll add a lot to our, our group and our mix. So I think it's been a really successful trade period for us. Awesome. Hey, Angus, I'm just going to come in here just a second. We'll get back to your questions. We are live streaming throughout um, the hospital and also on Facebook. So I just wanted to read out a little shout out for you, Lockie, from Maddie Bickle. She says, hey, Lockie, so excited for, this, for the footy season and congratulations on winning the Brownlow medal. And heaps oh. of people are watching, sending their regards to both of you, doing an awesome job. Awesome. Thanks, guys. And thanks very much, Maddie. <laughs> Shout out to you. Shout out to Maddie. Lucky, there's also so many other patients who are massive fans. Unfortunately, they couldn't be here this morning. However, they have sent through some video questions. So are you ready and excited to answer those questions? Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, our first question is coming from Shane. Hi, Lucky. My name is Shane. I visit the children's hospital every three months for appointments. I love playing a EFL on the Sunshine Coast. I won the Premiership in 2019. And my question is, what are some of your tips for improving your play on the field? That's a great question, Shane, and well done on the Premiership last year. Hopefully we can win one in the next couple of years. Um, some tips on improving your, your game, um, I think is, for me, the thing that I always look for is a couple of things that I can improve on after um, each year and then just really focus on those. So instead of trying to work on every single part of your game, I really narrow my focus into one or two things and um, focus on, on improving those rather than everything. It's, it gets a bit hard when there's 20 or 30 things that you probably could improve on, but pick one or two at a time and work on those and then go on to the next ones once you feel like you've nailed them. So that's something that I try and do um, rather than pick everything a part of my game, I pick one or two things and really focus in on that. So whether that might be you want to get fitter and you want to kick better, maybe work on those two things rather than everything a part of your game. So hopefully that helps. Yeah, great tips one at a time. What about you, Angus? Do you have any tips? Oh, well, I guess try and focus on some things that you're doing a bit worse than others. Then you can focus on them and get better just work harder yeah awesome very good heaps of knowledge being passed on but lucky are you ready for your next video question i am all righty this one is coming from mark hi lucky my name is mark murray and i love watching nfl with my friends my question is who was your idol when you were growing up and also how many goals have you kicked in one game Great question, Mark. Uh, my idol growing up was probably Gavin Wanganeen, who played for Port Adelaide. I was a Port Power fan growing up, and Gavin Wanganeen was a really important player for them. And he was a silky smooth player. He plays a lot different. Well, he played a lot different to what I play now, but he was definitely my idol growing up. Um, he won a Brownlow as well. Uh, I 
think he was at Essendon when he won that though, and then he got traded to Port um, and won a premiership with Port Adelaide. So he was my idol, um, and most goals I've kicked in a game. I think AFL game the most I've kicked is four, um, but I kicked. Zero goal six in a game this year, so six points, which wasn't too good. I couldn't couldn't find the goal, so that's definitely my most points. of it. zero goals and six points, which equals goal. So I just say I kicked one goal that game. <laughs> <laughs> no, at least it's something. That's amazing. Oh, very good. Thank you so much for answering. And one final video message coming in from Lewis and Angus. Hi, I'm Lewis, and I'm Angus. We used to spend a lot of time in the Queensland Children's Hospital visiting our sister Bella. We love playing AFL and watching the Lions play. Our questions are, how old were you when you started playing AFL? And what is your favourite team to play against? And what are your pre-game rituals? Thanks, Lockie. And go, go the Lions! Lions! <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Lewis and Angus. So. I started playing AFL footy when I was 18. Um, so once I got drafted, you have to be 18 to be able to, to put your name up for the draft. So that's when I started playing AFL, but I started playing um, the sport when I was about four. So I did Oz kick and, and whatnot when I was younger. Um, so I started at a very young age. My dad and my stepdad both played footy and um, loved watching them play. and got into it very early and, and never looked back. So that's where I, I started. Um, and then pre-game rituals, I don't really have too many rituals, but I have a bit of a routine, I suppose, that I that I go through. Um, I suppose the only ritual that I would have is the night before I have pasta, no matter what. Um, <laughs> always have for a game. Um, and in Brisbane, I actually go to Marinara's in Hawthorne. And if we're playing at home, I'll get marinara's um, at Hawthorne and get a fettuccine carbonara there, which is probably my <laughs> favourite part. At so, uh, it's not really a, a ritual, but I, I have a routine. I always juggle before the game in the rooms um, just to get my hand-eye coordination going. I love to go out onto the oval before any of the crowd are there, really, and, and lay in the middle of the ground and just stoke it up. Um, I suppose I just try and remember where I am and uh, my journey and whatnot before every game and just appreciate that I'm about to play a game of AFL footy. Um, and yeah, there are a couple of things that I, I meditate in the rooms before a game. Um, I do about two five minute blocks um, at different points throughout the warm up. Um, so yeah, I have a, a bit of a routine, um, but it's not really any, any rituals other than the pasta. <laughs> Very nice. Speaking of routines, um, I heard a little bit about Fashion Friday. Can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> yeah, well, we didn't get to do it this year because we were all in different groups. Um, so we couldn't dress up this year. But um, I think our captain, Dane Zorko, came up with the idea of um, Friday dress ups. So we had different themes um, throughout the year and there were some very, very good ones. Um, I think that one there with the photo was a bit of hip hop. This was barista. Um, so <laughs> dress up as a barista. That was my best effort. I think Jared Berry got me there. He looked pretty good. Um, but yeah, every home game um, on our captain's run day, which is usually the day before a game, um, we, we dressed up. So. That was a cool little thing that hopefully we can get back to next year because um, I think you need to bring a bit of fun and energy into footy clubs at times to lighten the mood up. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that's a great little thing that we did. <laughs> Absolutely. What about you, Angus? First of all, what do you reckon about Lockie's fashion? And second of all, do you have any, like, routines or rituals you do before you play? Uh, well, I think you've got some good fashion style there. And um, <laughs> as well, uh, I don't really think I have any. Yes, just yeah. having fun bef before the game. Thinks the whole just messing around before the game, then getting ready, playing well. I think that's most of my stuff. Yeah. Nice, just having fun. Make you, maybe you can yeah. take on Lockie's recommendation to have some pasta. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, very good, guys. Lucky, thank you so much for answering those questions. And I just wanted to pop back in on Facebook. We have a couple more shout outs that I wanted to read out to you guys. Amanda says, Lucky and Angus, you're doing an amazing job. Love the advice on focusing on one thing at a time. So there you go. That's from Amanda. And Thanks, Amanda. Maddie. <laughs> Maddie is actually watching along. She says, Lucky, I have a question for you. What is your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Oh, I don't watch a whole heap of TV. Um, so that's actually a really hard question on the spot. Uh, <laughs> what have I liked in the past? Um, Can you help him out, Angus? What do you like? What do you yeah, like to watch? Oh, well, I like watching the football and also there are some nice old shows I like to watch. Shows like, uh, I like watching the uh, Men in Black, things like that. Yeah. 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 Good. <laughs> well, Will Love Smith's pro Black. probably my favourite actor. Oh. Yeah. Good. You and yeah. me both. <laughs> <laughs> Did that stir anything up, Lucky? Any anything come to mind? Uh, um, for TV shows, a lot of them are a little bit older, so um, I don't want to recommend anything too gruesome and stuff. So, <laughs> <laughs> like I loved um, Dexter when I was obviously a little, little bit older now, but Dexter was one of my favourites. But it's that's a bit gruesome that show, so I wouldn't recommend watching it just yet. <laughs> <laughs> but younger, I like. Pokemon and um, things like that. I loved my Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that um, when I was growing up. So um, they were a couple of my favorites as a, as a kid, but they're probably a bit outdated now. I don't know if they're even on anymore. Classics, classics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such good recommendations. Thank you so much, Lucky. Well, are you guys ready to move on to our little challenge component for the morning? Let's do it. Yep. Let's do it. Awesome. So what's going to happen today is lucky. We're going to be playing a little bit of Pictionary. Okay. So you are going to be our resident artist and Angus lucky has five words that he's going to be drawing for you and you just have to guess them. Pretty straightforward, right? Yep. <laughs> not, not when you're drawing though, Angus, it's going to be hard yeah. for you. Really hard. Well, you, can't be, good. you can't be worse than me. <laughs> we'll find we will find out. Lucky, you've got 30 seconds per drawing on the clock, okay? You'll see a little bit of a timer when it comes up. And Angus, throughout the um, drawing, just feel free to shout out whatever it is, okay? So, 30 right seconds then. on the clock. Lucky and Angus, are you ready to draw? In yes. three, two, one, go. All right. I don't really know how these look. <laughs> I mean, we can't see anything, Angus, but what do you, what oh, do you reckon yeah. he's drawing? Is that big stuff? Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, is it what a... What do you think that is? A balloon? Close. It's a balloon? Close. Are balloon? we going to give it to... Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hot air balloon. All right, not too bad, Lucky, not too bad. Are you ready for your next one? Uh... As ready as I'll ever be. I don't actually know how to draw this very well. <laughs> Angus, you did a great job guessing. Here we go. 30 yeah. seconds on the clock in three, two, one. I don't even know how this looks. <laughs> you will never guess, ever. <laughs> Hold uh, it up nice and close. What do you reckon that is? Is it like a boat? No, it's not a boat. Uh, I'm trying. Oh, you got five seconds on the clock. We might have to have another look at the piece of paper. Oh, <laughs> no. Can Couldn't you, guess can you that give one. us a nice close shot? Yep, I'll bring it up nice and close. Yeah. But this is oh. shot. Oh, wow. Is, is it a, a dinosaur, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> More like a dinosaur than what it's meant to be. It's meant to be the Opera House. Oh, the Sydney Opera House. 
<laughs> hey, we saw the vision there, didn't we, Angus? We saw the we saw yep. the little points and everything. There was water. <laughs> it was there. It was there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Very good. Picture number three. 30 seconds on the clock in three, two, one. All right. How do you think he's doing so far, Angus? Like, he wasn't very confident, hey, but he's, he's, he's doing fine. You know, one. He's, he's doing pretty one. good. He's doing pretty good. How does it compare to your drawing skills? Oh, a bit better. Bit better. All right, what's All right. <laughs> Is it a turtle? <laughs> nah. Close, um, keep guessing. Nine seconds on the clock. I haven't done the head very well, so discard <laughs> that. Look at the body. Uh, oh, nah. time's up. <laughs> what, do you re what do you reckon? One final guess, Angus. A crab? Oh, mm. oh. far off. <laughs> it was meant to be an echidna. Oh. Echidna. <laughs> That's pretty hard to draw. That's pretty that good. I love I love how small it was as well on the page. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm trying to rush through it, so it's um yeah, they're not coming out too well. <laughs> You're doing great. Are you ready for another one? Angus, you ready to have another guess? Yep. All righty, here we go. 30 seconds on the clock in three, two, one. All righty, so what have we had so far? We've had the Sydney Opera House, the hot air balloon and the echidna. Which one do you think was the easiest? I mean, you guessed the hot air balloon. Yeah. What do you reckon? Which one uh, was the next best? Probably the Opera House. The Opera House, yep. Well, yep. let's see what we got. Number four. They All right. First. <laughs> and uh, I haven't got this it, thing on. Oh. A rhino? Nah. Mm. <laughs> oh. oh no! Give it a give it another shot. What can you sort of like right. accent and point out, Lucky? Well, this is meant to be the main. Where is it? This is meant to be the main bit, but it's meant to be on top of its head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What do you reckon, Angus? Oh, makes it a bit tough. It could be a unicorn, but I don't think so. That's hey! what it is. Oh, it is? Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> it is a unicorn. Very good, very good. Oh, man. Okay. Are we up to number five? Fifth and yeah. final drawing. Lucky, oh, this is are you feeling yeah. good? Are you ready? I'm not feeling good about this one. Yes. That will go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Angus, you there? All good with us? Just yep. glitching yep. a little bit? Awesome. All righty. Yeah. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go for your fifth and final drawing. Three, two, one, go, Lucky. All righty. That was a pretty cool unicorn, though. It was, a, uh, it was an interesting mm -hmm. headpiece, though. What do you reckon, Angus? Yes. <laughs> well, the head was interesting, yes. <laughs> He's been getting some pretty hard drawings. Alrighty, 10 seconds on the clock. Let's see what you got, Lucky. All right. Fifth see and final masterpiece. Um. <laughs> uh, maybe a whale? That. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably drawn the person a bit too big, but he's. What's he doing out of the plane? That's meant to be a um, plane. Oh, so, skydiving. Skydiving. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. That was pretty good. I reckon, how many did you get out of five? Probably three, right? Yeah. yeah. Good job, yeah. everyone. The Angus has made me look extremely good there because that's seriously <laughs> the best option. <laughs> no, nah, that was a solid effort. Solid effort. What do you think, Angus? He did a pretty good job. That they were pretty good drawings, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. You're not the unit. Oh, good. <laughs> you can add becoming an artist to your career goals a bit of, a little bit later. <laughs> I think so. I'll need some work on it. <laughs> oh, very good. Hey, before we wrap up, Angus, did you have any final questions you wanted to ask Lucky? Uh well, who is at the in your days playing at Fremantle and Brisbane? Who's the biggest jokester you've met? 
The biggest goats. The biggest jokester. Oh, jokester. Uh, probably Hayden Valentine. He was all pulling pranks, like putting a cup of water half on your locker so when you opened it, it oh, out. No. And, um, <laughs> he filled up one of the uh, staff's cars full of the bean ball, bean bag balls, like all in his car. Um, oh man! But, yeah, I think he taped, he wrapped like uh, masking tape around someone's car. Yeah, he does all sorts, Bellas, and he's always pinching and punching. And uh, yeah, he's a little pest, but we love him. He's a damn Bellas. He came to my <laughs> wedding, and whatnot, so we get along really well. But he's definitely the uh, the biggest prankster. I, I think I've not just in footy that I've ever met. So yeah, I'd, I'd have to go with him. All right, who's your favourite player to play against? Favourite player to play against? Um, I love playing against Gary Ablett um, just because I always looked up to him and loved the way that, that he played. So every time I got to play against him, um, that was really special and um, something that I didn't take for granted. So um, I love playing against him. Um, I love testing myself against the great players like um, Paddy Dangerfield and, and Dusty Martin and those guys. So. I love playing against the superstars and testing myself against them and um, yeah, it's a real challenge. So probably the better players I enjoy playing on more. Um, I feel like it motivates me and gets me ready to go. Yeah. Um, it, as a kid, if, did you ever think that you'd be playing professional footy and winning a Brownlow medal at Brisbane Lions? Uh, I'd, I always wanted to and hoped that I would play AFL, but I had to do a lot of hard work and it took me a while to realise that um, I'd be good enough to, to actually be able to do it. So um, I always dreamed of it. Uh, I feel like I always thought I could, but um, there was a lot of ups and downs along the way and missing out on team selections and things like that. So it was a long process, but um, one that I wouldn't trade for the world. And I think. Um, winning a Brownlow, you never really expect to do that, but once again, um, it's been, I suppose, a, a dream of mine and um, something that I've always aspired to and hopefully get to that position that I'm, I'm a chance to win one. But um, when I take a step back and have a look, I can't really believe that I have. So um, in one way, yes, and in another way, no, it's, it's strange. When I'm playing and stuff, I feel like um, I want to be the best on the field and be the best player that I can be. but. Um, when I take a step back and realise what I've done, it's um, pretty amazing to think that, that I've been able to achieve that. So, um, yeah, that's a great question. Yeah. Uh, who's your favourite player to play? Who's your favourite club to play against? Favourite club to play against? Um, well, they're all hard in some way, so it's um, never an easy opponent, I guess. But uh, at the moment, I love like the rivalry games. So when I was in Perth, I loved playing against West Coast in a derby. They're always exciting and, and pretty intense games. And then since I've come to Brisbane, that's obviously against Gold Coast. So it's always fun playing against them. There's a little bit of banter back and forth between the players and uh, both teams really want to beat the other one and be the team of the, the state, I guess. So they're always fun, those rivalry games really enjoy. Nice. Who, awesome questions. Do you have any more, Angus? Uh, what was your favourite game to, that you've ever played? Favourite game that I've ever played? Uh, maybe the Richmond final just this year that we won. The guys hadn't beaten Richmond in a long, long time. So that was pretty awesome to be a part of that win. Um, it was great to be able to beat them and they're obviously the best team in the competition they have been for the last four years. So I think that was great for our group. Unfortunately, we couldn't win the next one against Geelong to get into the grand final, but um, that game at the Gabba was special. And I played in a prelim final in Perth um, and we won that to get into the grand final back in 2013. So 
that was an amazing atmosphere as well and, and I loved that game. Um, those big finals where you're in front of your home crowd and everyone's cheering for you and it's super loud, you can't hear anything out there. Uh, they're always the best games. Oh, very good. Hey, Angus, they are awesome questions. We've definitely learned a lot about you, Lockie, and also about the sport. So thank you guys so much for your time. And Lockie, just before we wrap up, we do have an amazing hospital community of healthcare workers and patients. Um, did you have a special message that you wanted to share with them? Yeah, for sure. It's obviously been a really challenging year for everyone and um, no more so than and the hospital workers and carers and everyone involved. So I just want to say thank you so much for all your efforts, not only this year, but um, the years that you've been doing the job and looking after everyone. I know that um, everyone appreciates it. Um, I actually had a, my little sister was in hospital when she was born. Um, so I've seen firsthand how hard everyone works in the system. And um, she was very lucky to be alive now. And um, that's certainly a big, um, I suppose, uh, thank you to them um, and yeah, I know how hard that this year's been in particular. So thanks for all your efforts and um, know that us at the Brisbane Lions, we don't take it for granted either. So thank you very much. Beautiful. Lucky, thank you so much. We have loved having you on our Juice TV virtual visit. I know everyone has loved watching along. Angus, well done. You absolutely smashed the interview. You did so well. Thank you so, Thank so much you. for both of your time. And just before we go, Lucky, um, one sort of finale, I have heard that you've also got a little secret talent that you can clap with one hand. So I just thought, did you want to just share the talent and the love with us all? For sure, I can do that for you. <laughs> it's um, weird. I don't actually know how I learned to do it. I think it might have been I had an operation on my finger and um, I was in a school assembly or something and I had to clap. Well, thought, how could I clap? And um, I must have just come up with it. I can make a bit of noise by doing it. <laughs> but it's pretty, pretty different. Yeah, that's my party trick, I suppose. Not many people can do it. That is definitely a party trick. Angus, we will have to practice a little bit after this. What do you reckon? All right. That'll be fun. <laughs> Oh, both of you, thank you so much. We've had such a great morning. Thank you so much to everyone watching on Facebook and on the patient entertainment system. Just a little reminder as well, next week we have on Monday and Thursday, two special virtual visits for you guys. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled all over our social media and also throughout the hospital to find out who they are. Massive thanks again to Angus and Lucky. Love your work guys. And everyone else, have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thanks very what much. What a skate. See ya. Thank, thank you.